County. Welcome to episode 43 of the Green Gap. My name is Andrew Christman. My name is Patty Denner. And launching straight from the news this week, a video of a recent accident on Sweat City Farm is circulated with more than a million views on social media this week. An overhead tank filled with more than 10,000 bushels of corn collapsed as the bin was being unloaded into a truck. The bin took out a power line and the grain and dust combinate the grain dust and electrical spark combination created a fireball that caused extensive damage. We're really not sure at this time what caused it, said Steve White of White Farms, father of Jordan White, who filmed the incident. We suspect it may have been a problem with the steel of the grain bin. More than corn was lost in the collapse. The loss of the bin could be detrimental to the upcoming harvest if it is not replaced immediately. We're hoping to get this thing up, back up and running before the harvest, White said, but we're pretty self-sufficient. We'll take care of it. Oh, that's a dramatic video. Absolutely. Very dramatic. Check it out if you get a chance. Uh, National Night Out Green County 2017 was held at Linton's Humphreys Park uh, Tuesday afternoon and evening, and the event was bigger than it has ever been. More than 60 representatives of law enforcement, local businesses, and civic groups showed up, along with a record number of Green County citizens, including me. <laughs> Homegrown heathens were there to provide li live music, and Green County's Tara Orman gave a beautiful rendition of our national anthem. See, I drove by there and I was wondering what this massive thing was, and then when I read about it, of course, in our paper, massive thing. that answered. Yeah. <laughs> All right, going to the sports, we're going to do something a little bit different this week. Yay for different! Okay, so, preparations are underway for the 12th Annual Kicking Bear Camp, which seeks to teach area kids the value of archery on August 19th. The all-day event will include a kids' archery demonstration, bow fishing, blue flu shooting, a tomahawk throw, bomb squad demonstration from Crane Naval Unit, and a canine unit, as well as marshmallow fight at the end of the night, <laughs> following a nice cookout. Wow. Uh, this is all according to organizer Mike Miller. Registration begins at 7 a.m. at Shack Max State Park, and the day is expected to conclude around 7 p.m. For more information, contact Mike Miller at 812-239-3054. Brian Rusher at 812-381-1199 or call the Shack Mac State Park at 812-665-2158. This sounds like a great... Oh, I was absolutely stoked when I heard about this <laughs> event, especially just how in detail Mr. Miller was. And they do so much for the kids oh, out there. It's so, so cool. much. Yeah. Uh, we here at the Green County Daily World love our pet of the week. We certainly do. And last week we got some great news. Last week we featured a schnoodle, <laughs> a schnauzer poodle mix, and her name was Ella. Uh, the folks at Green County Humane Society told us early this week that as soon as they opened on Saturday, they received a phone call from a lady who watches Green Gab. Yay! Yay, we have one. <laughs> uh, she, she wanted to adopt Ella, so we're very happy to report that Ella has found her forever home right here in Green County. Thank you, Ella's new mommy. We do appreciate that. This week's pet of the week, however, is Brighton. Brighton was described as Ella's boyfriend, so... You know, I think you know what to do, uh, Ella's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Brighton's a one-year-old male Chihuahua Pomeranian mix. Uh, he's been neutered, he's current on his shots, and he will thrive in a home without small children. So older children for Brighton and probably Ella. He's probably missing her. Probably. The fee to adopt Brighton is $125. Like I said, I got a good look at him, and he's a proud little pupper. He, yeah, absolutely. He, he's an awesome dog. All right, going into our holidays this week. Holidays. First is Assistance Dog Day. Speaking of dogs. Assistance dogs uh, improve the quality of life for countless people who live with disabilities or illness. And a special day celebrates these four-legged friends every year. Assistance Dog Day recognizes and honors assistant dogs and their trainers. Their heroes is what they are. That's Little helpers. True. Hooray for them. And hooray for kids. Today is hooray for kids day. Nobody seems to know the actual origins of this holiday. This happy holiday for hooligans. Love the alliteration there. There you go. But it probably started with a bunch of kids. So probably. Uh, who hasn't been a kid, however, at least once in their lives. So to celebrate the day, uh, celebrate youth. Act like a child. Skip oh. a rope, toss a ball, ride a bike, be a kid. Sounds like a good you idea. You can do that. And of course, we can give the kids one last hurrah before they go back to school. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and it's also International Beer Day for those of you that are not kids. No kids. No, no, no. <laughs> it's originally started in Santa Cruz, California. International Beer Day began as a way to celebrate the craft of brewing. Gather with friends and enjoy the taste of beer. And personally, I recommend a good stout. It goes really well with something sweet. It is the okay. yeah, that bitter and sweet combination. I prefer a good Hefeweizen with lemon. But oh, okay. Yeah, okay. but that's me. Ooh, and I'm weird. all fancy so, and stuff. I know, right? All right, celebrate those responsible for brewing and serving beer. Unite the world under the banner of beer by the celebrating beer. your beers of all nations together on a single day. Click. Oh, <laughs> that was my sign. Right yeah. There we go. <laughs> uh, coming up on Saturday is National Mustard Day. Mustard Day is celebrated annually at the National Mustard Museum in Wisconsin. And this year they're raising awareness of pediatric cancer and the need for research. 
Is so that a, right. You know, this on Saturday? No. It is underwear day. It's what day? It's underwear day. You said underwear. That I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's originally founded by the fresh by the company Fresh Pair in 2003, which is an excellent name for underwear, fresh if pair. I may say. <laughs> Just so you know, every body is beautiful. So celebrate that fact, especially if you just want to find, you know, chill the rest of the day in your underwear. Nice. Yeah, you know, you, you know what the best movie to watch is though? In your underwear? What? Risky Business. Of course. Or, or Eyes Wide Shut. The underwear scenes. Yeah. There you go. Can you celebrate with other people's underwear? Or? You should probably just do it with your own. Yeah, it's probably a matter of, you know, yeah. personal, uh, yeah. personal boundaries. Yeah. Also on Saturday, it is Work Like a Dog Day. Not in your underwear. Work Like a Dog Day honors and recognizes the hardest working people among us. Uh, some people skate along by doing as little as they eat away with, others just what they have to do. Uh, but then others work like a dog. So today show appreciation for those who work like a dog and you can honor them also by working like a dog yourself. <laughs> All right, well that's gonna wrap up this screen yet. Thank you so much and we will see you next time.